You used to call me on my You used to, you used to Yeah You used to call me on my cell phone Late night when you need my love Call me on my cell phone Late night when you need my love Hello Brownsburg High School, thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Friday, October 30th. I'm Robbie Harris. And I'm Reed Leatherman. And here are today's announcements. The Environmental Club is supporting the Indianapolis Zoo by collecting old electronics to take to the Zoo's Power Recycling Weekend, where they will be properly disposed. Bring your old electronics to Mrs. Muller's room, C207, by Friday, November 6th. Items that will be accepted include printers, copiers, game systems, old phones, microwaves, monitors, power cables, scanners, computers, and more. Best Buddies will be hosting a friendship ball on Saturday, November 7th at 6.30 p.m. in West Middle School. The night will include a photo booth, beverages, desserts, and a DJ. Please bring a canned food item to donate to Gleaner's Food Bank. You must visit the website at the bottom of the screen in RSVB by today in order to attend. BHS yearbooks can now be ordered at www.yearbookordercenter.com. You can save $7 if you order before tomorrow, October 31st. If you have any questions, please contact the yearbook staff at tempoyearbook at brownsburg.k12.in.us. The team sports three-on-three -three basketball tournament will be Saturday, November 7th in the Varsity Fieldhouse. Registration is $30. Go to DECA Depot to turn in money and forms. The winning team wins $150. This event is only for BHS students. Freshman Football Awards Night will be next Wednesday, November 4th at 7 p.m. in the high school cafeteria. All freshman football players should plan on attending. Anyone interested in wrestling this year and winning championships while taking a ride on the pain train, open mats are today at 3.20 p.m. in the wrestling gym. Tryouts begin on Monday, November 2nd. There will be a wrestling manager meeting on Monday, November 9th at 6 p.m. at the Brownsburg McDonald's. BHS TV went around the school and asked students about the upcoming NBA season that started this week. Do you think Paul George can bounce back from his recovery? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, last night he had a good night, you know. I mean, even though they lost, he had a double-double, you know, like 16 points. Yeah, uh, he put up he put up good numbers last game, you know, they lost, but uh, he's still good. Who do you think will be MVP this year and why? Uh, it's most definitely going to be LeBron James because there's nobody better than him. That's uh, Steph Curry because he's just about to go off this year. Do you think James Harden is going to win MVP of the year? Of course. Best player in the league. Uh, Kevin Durant, because he's pretty good. Who do you think will make it to the finals, and who will win? Uh, it's the Cavs and the Rockets. And the Rockets going to win because they got my boy James Harden. You know, because, right? Cavs and the Clippers, and most definitely going to be the Cavs. How do you think hometown hero Gordon Hayward will do? You know, Gordon Hayward has really been a wild card. What do you want to say to him for this watching right now? You're pretty cute. Please shoot good from the three-point line this year. Gordon, I know you watching. Thanks, guys. Tomorrow, Hari Sathie Murphy will be tra traveling to Terre Haute for the state cross-country championships for the second straight year. Hari has had an incredible season thus far, winning seven of eight invitationals and repeating a sectional and regional champion. Let's all send Hari off in fashion today, wishing him well in his final leg of his senior season. Good luck, Hurricane Hari. And don't forget to support the Sound of Brownsburg as they travel to Ben Davis tomorrow to compete at the ISSMA semi-state competition. The Sound of Brownsburg will perform at 1 p.m. and all are invited to attend. That's all for today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a safe and happy Halloween. We'll see you on Monday. Halloween. Taliban. Taliban. Yeah.
It's a project through Samaritan's Purse, and basically what they do is they bring uh, Christmas presents, basically in the form of shoe boxes, uh, wrapped shoe boxes, uh, to kids in need that have never received a Christmas present before. And to help, you can pack a box, a shoe box, or you can just bring donations to FCA on Friday morning at 7 o'clock in the LGI room. We'll be collecting those donations um, up to the first week in November, so you have all through fall break uh, to go shopping for these. We'll stop collections uh, that Friday, and then the second week of November, uh, we'll have a packing party. So it can be kids from 2 to 4, uh, 5 to 9, and then uh, 10 to 14 are the age groups. You can bring in toys that are like stuffed animals. They have to be small, so you can't bring in like a 5-foot teddy bear. But small teddy bear, um, you can bring in dolls, and also bring in hygiene items like uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, comb, the regular things like that. Make sure that they are travel size and no liquids. Also, you can bring school supplies, such as pencils, pens, paper, notebooks, coloring books, crayons, things like that. We have tons of donation uh, locations around the school from various teachers. Uh, also, there are posters around the school with that information posted, and we'll have flyers to hand out at FCA uh, with all the information that people would need.